It's a lot quieter here. A lot more rare. Maybe that's why I didn't, haven't really noticed it. <laughs> you certainly notice it in, uh, when you're playing, uh, what is it? 1935, though. It's just, like, every five seconds. Ah! Ah! Hmm, wonder what's going on here. Oh, oh, those are my uh, buddies. Okay, I'll go back down then. I was gonna say, duty in a uh, agriprom. You don't walk away just yet. Let me sell you the stuff first. Not that you'll ever use it, but what the hell, no reason not to sell them. Alright, so it looks like Merc versus Loner is what's going on here. Ooh, a Mac 10. Big mistake, buddy. Mac what are they doing walking around with Mac 10s? Who's shooting now? Well, I'm glad you two can see him. See, these are... Yeah, they're the 9x19s. They're useless. Now I'm gonna bother taking the time to sell them to the uh, followers. Or the loners, or anyone. We'll take this stuff, though. Ooh, there's even a bloodsucker here. Where's this guy? They still got bandits now? God, this place is a madhouse. Let's not use all the uh, grenades up. Do you like grenades? Here, have another. Yeah, you don't get to throw them. It's against the rules. What have we got here? Check, check the uh, crappy old stashes. All right, some artifacts that are useless. Whew, come to think of it, I don't actually have any close-range weaponry, or any good close-range weaponry. We'll have to try to find some or something. Oh, oh. oh, I suppose I can just take the scope off of this rifle and uh, set it to full auto, or maybe my, uh, you know, one secondary will do it. I'm trying to plan ahead for when I go back into the underground. That's never. Ah, there we go. There's the rest of my army. After the battle's over, of course. Unfortunately, I don't think they follow you into the underground areas. So, let's see, that means... Ah, oh, this looks beautiful like this. <laughs> Bloom's a little too much, maybe, but... Certainly looks nice. So, yeah, with consideration given to, you know, my, my army coming back, I th think what we'll do, as far as, uh... Getting into uh, the underground goes is go backwards, you know. Enter through the Merc base, which I assume is going to have the Mercs, you know, respond in it. And go down the ladder, get to the uh, get to the place fairly quickly. Yep. Uh, not Mercs. Uh, that's Pervoy, sorry, Army base. Yeah, I'd assume that they've spawned or respawned. Please got my way. I'm trying to scout the area. Ah, yes. I've lost him already. There he is. There's that sound again. Are you? 
Hold on, phone call. And we're back. Pro tip. Um, this is the best way to pause your game in any of the stalker games, using, using the uh, pause function. Whew. Basically, it's because, uh, you know, the frame rate can go exceedingly high in the uh, main menu, and uh, apparently that's supposed to cause some uh, damage to graphics cards. Anyway, go forth, my army. Fight back. I said fight back. Do something already. Do we have to throw a grenade in there? Oh, I'm out of RGDs. Okay. Check one over there. Okay, my army is not the brightest. Hey, fool, start shooting. God, I don't want to shoot here because um, I'm liable to end up hitting my own people. Man down. May I speak with any of them? No, of course. I'm trying to see if I can give him orders to, you know, fight back a little better. Stop moving! Okay, this is terrible. Yeah, I'll just loot the dead. Duty, duty, duty. You are disappointing me. You people were supposed to be the best. I think that's really the most annoying part. I can't even talk to these guys to give them orders, since every time you approach them and they're in their panic state, they just run away. Yep, don't shoot back, exoskeleton man or anything. Yep, see, look at that. He just walks right in front of me. You know, just watch all my soldiers die, because they're incompetent. It just made me sense, though, you know? They did just, they did just fine when they were fighting fleshes to bring in the military, and they just stand there. The hell was that sound? Speak with any of you? Is that all right? Move order. Free formation. Okay, I can't say anything about formation. Okay, I guess this will have to do. There's nothing in there. What a disaster. What an absolute disaster. Supposed to be an easy operation. You walk in, hello military, bang, 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 bang. Entire army of duty ears fi opening fire. But no, they just stand there and run around in circles and do nothing. So of course that means I have to do all the work. I need to make my way to that uh, opening. Super great opening, or what have you? Military! Who knows, maybe the duty is will actually start fighting back when they, uh, you know, thin out numbers a bit. As for me, I'm going down here. Okay, at least it's clear for the moment, so. Safely prepare for the assault on my brain. Cool lighting effects, though. Hmm. 
different colored uh, Tushkanos. It's interesting. Unexpected. Controller is very nearby. Right inside the door, apparently. Oh god. Scientific! Oh no! Not the scientific mech, kids were supposed to heal you from that. Let's try this again. Okay. That's regular ammo, man. Prepare the grenade. Grenades out. Judging by the presence of the sound, unless this is the bug again, um, he should still be around. Let's just fix the active quest. So the marker's pointing the right way. Who knows, maybe the two grenades did take care of the controller. even. He was like right there at the door last time. Ah, there he is. Have a nice little nap. Aren't you? Son of a bitch. Alright. Bandages. Can certainly use some of those. Time for a quick save and a quick load, I think, to try to get rid of this damn sound. Be back in a moment. And so I was reminded that it was actually a full reboot of the entire game that you needed. Huh, never noticed that before. Ah, and it's breakable! So I was wrong in one of those many times I complained about my favorite game of all time. There are breakable dynamic lights past the uh, alpha versions. Ah, uh, but... Few and far between, besides. I'm a critic. What I do is criticize things. Plus, it'd be pretty damn, uh... Oh, uh, what's the term? Hypocritical if I complained about modeling issues and whatnot in other games and conveniently didn't do so for this game just because it's my favorite. Uh-oh. Ah, the military are back. Bloodsuckers. Well, you know what? They're in a. Ah, crap. I suppose I am gonna have to. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no. Uh... No overall uh, PDA map for underground areas. You're very observant, military man. Now let's just get up here. Strela. Hey, Strela. Strela, come on, man, wake up. Oh, this better. You had me worried. What the hell are you doing, man? Have you lost your memory or something? You were the one who suggested that we take this precaution. Oh no, at least you're... at least you are still alive. Look, Strela, we've got no time, so I need you to listen to me. Everything you have said about the monolith is true. All of it. It is just an illusion manufactured in a lab next to the sarcophagus. And nobody, nobody who reached the monolith has ever come back. Looks like they have died there. But anyway, while you're away, I dug up some more info. And basically, there is a decoder to open the door which leads to the monolith controls. And this decoder is hidden in a stash and prepiant. Now I'm going to give you the coordinates of this stash, and I'm giving you the key to open it. I want you to take the decoder 
and I want you to find the door in the sarcophagus. And then you... well, you'll know what to do. But it seems that this is the only way of uncovering the zone's real secret. This is the one you have been trying to work out, Strelok. I don't know what bugs me worse about that little uh, in-game cutscene. The fact that they went through all the trouble of, you know, creating custom animations for Doctor to use during the, during it, and yet left in that obnoxiously bad, you know, lip sync that all three of the games in the series share, or the fact that you know his left pointer finger has some misaligned bones in the animation. I don't know, that's something that's bothered me every single playthrough, like... Did they just leave in, you know, lip-sync animations from some very early 2000s build? Or what? Is that... That's just really bad. Hey, what? Oh, jeez, it's up! Fuck it! Fucking... Shit. And etc. Oh. Great, now that my uh, neck is all tensed up and sore. Yeah, once again, just going back to what I said earlier, be hypocritical of me not to uh, complain about the negative facets of this game just because it's my favorites. All the while I'll complain about the negative facets of uh, other games. One, two, three, three bloodsuckers. Ah, ah, holy shit, that's dangerous. Hopefully that's the last of them, so going through the rest of this area doesn't end up being terrifying. But let's see, let's get that um, stash over here. Is it this one? No, that's not a stash. This is. Aha! A flash. Just what I wanted. Better, uh... Well, I'm probably not going to get rid of the sparkler, but... Uh, what else do I even have, actually? Well, because of the crystal, I can actually afford to throw this on. It's a very minor improvement, but... It'll work. Yeah, let's see. Plus 15. Plus, that's plus 20 radiation total. All right, all right, that's doable. Hope to find some better uh, artifacts with similar properties, though, of course. I accidentally swapped it back over to single shot mode there. I think I'll just try to leave through this way, I guess. I don't really feel like... Boom! Jump scared around every goddamn corner this session. <laughs> Uh, of course, this is blocked off. Oh, how I actually yearn for older versions of this level where both of the underground and above ground were the same level. Uh, but complaining again. Holy shit. Really? Ah, oh, poker is here. Um. Surprise. Yeah, eat shit, poker. You're supposed to be at the bandit base, you bastard. That's where it usually is, anyway. That's where I thought it would be. Really, a military man down there? Yeah, why don't you just run down the tunnel like the bandits did? Brilliant, brilliant people. Yeah. It's without a doubt a lot faster and a lot less annoying to just uh, you know, go through, go the whole way backwards rather than just turning around and going back to the military base that's already cleared out. 